Okay, this is Scott again. I'm in Indianapolis and I've got a very large collection of bikes. I've got 45 or 50 here. Every single bike in this room is ready to roll. We, we actually shake them down one day before they're delivered or picked up, whichever is the case. But uh, we've really, really had a tremendous response to uh, putting out these videos and combining that with an eBay ad. So the silver tag, as many of you know, that's sold to a good friend of, my, of ours, uh, been buying bikes from me for a few years, collector in California, real nice bike there, fully restored Sapphire right there. This bike here is uh, currently being negotiated. That's a fully restored uh, K1. There's a Survivor K1 and uh, got some Z50s. We've got several of them. The Christmas bike um, is also under contract. Uh, I'll know for sure May 1 on that on that bike. We've got uh, four resto mods that are really, really nice, nice uh, pieces of gear. Only one of them is not ready to go at this point. Uh, we've got to figure out how to keep the uh, axle uh, bolts uh, from breaking. It's uh, It's got a 190 uh, cc motor and probably too much. Uh, but <clears throat> these, uh, this row here is kind of an interesting row. I've got a before and after. Uh, you know, the, the uh, before is actually a uh, is actually a Survivor bike here. This is a Sapphire original. It has not even been reconditioned. Uh, we put uh, the chrome uh, front and back fenders and an exhaust. Uh, that's a K0 exhaust. Uh, the, you know, the originals were just a little too tattered, but you got the original patina there. We haven't buffed it or anything. I just want you to see it the way it is. That's even the original seat. <laughs> which is amazing. This is one of the best restored bikes I have seen. This is Julian's uh, most recent kind of uh, rendition. And, uh, you know, I like the way he's chrome these wheels. A lot of people are doing that now. And I do think that uh, that most of the buyers want to see that, see that that way. Uh, the paint on this bike is incredible. Uh, it's a, it's a brand new bike. You're buying that bike. Uh, it's a brand, brand new bike. Uh, <clears throat> same thing here. You got a survivor here and you've got a, this is actually K1. Uh, they didn't make a candy gold, uh, in 70, uh, 72, but, uh, this is a very popular thing happening now. People that, uh, like the, the, uh, the K1 handling, which is uh, easy to understand. I mean, you got a much bigger front end, uh, here on a K1 on the right, and then you do the K0 on the left. Um, and uh, it's just a much, much better feel when you're out riding around. It doesn't, not nearly as hard on you. Uh, and so we're seeing a lot of that happen. I, I sure do see a bunch of, and we sold a couple um, on eBay. We've sold uh, some candy emeralds also in a K1 uh, chassis. These are two originals. Uh, the one on the right, right here, this, this one on the right, right here, is the cleanest candy blue green that i've seen as a survivor just it does not have many nicks on the bike at all it's nearly perfect uh and i just it's very very rare to see that on those this you know that's an original paint this is an original paint uh it does have an after it does have an added uh i'm sorry uh front headlight uh a little bit off color from what it's supposed to be here uh but that's aftermarket stuff anyways nice it works it's a good clean h cheap way to get into the h's right there this one here's a different story because it is so pristine and then here is a fully restored one i say born again uh, this one's fully restored it's got a got a brand new uh, restoration and that includes the engine the engine's been gone through inside as well like buying blue printed and balanced this, this is a fully fully uh restored one of the better restored level three better restored bikes uh, that you're going to see uh this uh, uh this candy um uh, orange is actually a topaz candy topaz orange uh fantastic original survivor um in candy topaz uh just and my mechanic says it's the best mechanical bike in the building he says it just is fantastic it's just power it hooks up real real good uh you can start it with uh with your with your hand um these are two incredibly restored bikes uh both of them are a little different uh, uh the one on the uh 
the one on the right uh, was done by a painter that's been painting for 30 years, done a lot of custom work, and he has perfected this and love it. Uh, they're both done extremely, extremely well, but I'm kind of a, I'm, I'm that guy that, uh, that, that looks at paintwork. I'm a painter myself, paint, paintwork a little differently. The candy process is a cool process. It's old fashioned. Most people don't do it uh, because it's four or five stages, depending on how many clear coats you put on. Uh, the Mighty Green Bike is one of my favorites. I think the color is timeless. It's a one, that's, that's a one year only color right there, 1975 K4. Uh, that's the only color you can get a 1975 in. And, uh, just, you, you know, people ask me all the time, why do you think Honda did that? I got my own opinion. It's probably wrong, but, uh, here's a bunch of nice, nice, uh, soft tail stuff. I've got, uh, two matching 79s exactly alike, uh, survivor bikes, uh, and we've got a bunch of hardtails here, some really, really nice stuff. Uh, one or two of these are sold. Uh, this is a bike we just got in here on the left. Uh, this yellow K, uh, uh, K0 uh, is a, it is an or K1 is an amazing bike. Um, I like when they get the paint right. <laughs> and this one here is, is, is done really, really well. Uh, perfect. And... I said before, the, the Dax Resto Mod here on the right, um, you know, it's just got a ton of CCs. It's fantastic to ride, real, real smooth, sounds cool. It's got the coolest sound. I love that, uh, that exhaust uh, rendition uh, that that company's come up with. The only 69, only 1969 I've seen in recent years is sitting right here in front of you. I have not been trying to sell this bike. It has not actually been for sale. I've uh, had a couple people wanted to buy it. it. I just kind of wasn't ready. Uh, I'm going to entertain it. Um, I have, uh, uh, you know, th this is this is original paint, 1969. It's original paint. The fenders have been redone, obviously, um, but the body is is all like it was. Uh, this is correct way the seat was done, and uh, this has the low exhaust, which meant this is the street model. Uh, they had a street and off-road, and uh, so they, the, the street model had the low exhaust on it. What a cool bike. I mean, to have something like that, this was the very beginning. 19, this is a DAC 70, uh, so that would have been the European rendition. Even the front end comes apart, uh, comes off with this real handy deal, and they, they still have that available. But uh, that, was, uh, uh, that was one of the unique things about this particular model. So anyways, we've got a really nice group here, and uh, it's been working out well. We had we got about nine or ten in fresh uh, that weren't here on the last video, and uh, and we uh, we sold eleven uh, in the last uh, week and a half, two weeks. So um, uh, nineteen the week before that. So uh, the the investment market is going after this stuff. I invite your phone calls three one seven seven two seven nine nine two seven. God bless y'all.